Aliti Productions and Talent Agency. Hi, my name is Ryan Wilson. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri, and I'm an international basketball player. I knew I wanted to play professional basketball um, when I turned around the age of 14 or 15. I uh, started to grow a little bit and uh, started to get some college looks around that age and uh, made my first AAU team and just realized I was I was pretty good at it So and I liked doing it. So I just, I just knew then I wanted to play for the rest of my life. My motivation comes from just my pain from my past of not making certain teams and having a lot of different people not believe in me back at home. And uh, a lot of motivation also comes from just wanting to be the best player I can be and finding better players than me to, to challenge myself and push myself to my limits and beyond. I managed to keep myself in shape by um, just putting the right foods and drinks in my body, making sure I'm getting enough rest and uh, staying in the gym every day getting a lot of running in, um, just a lot of different cardio things, a lot, a lot of flexibility things. I got out into the international basketball world um, by basically having an agent who believed in me and just promoted my name and contacted teams and I also did some research myself and put my own name out there and contacted some teams and it, and it took a while but um, I finally made it and was able to start a career. The most difficult thing about playing with international teams is the language and just being away from home for the most part. A lot of players can't adapt to a, to like a Europe style type of basketball because overseas versus um, USA is, is they're two different complete games but a lot of players can't, can't translate that. Um, I'm fortunate enough that I grew up in a system where I played a European type of style basketball my whole life so it's it's that's not even hard to me. The hardest part is like I said it's just being away from home and trying to um for certain certain countries just you know the language barrier. The hardest basketball related struggle for me is probably um to be honest each season you you never know you never know if you're going to get a job because you know there's so many players trying to play, you know, from USA trying to play international basketball and you never know if you're going to get a job. So it's up to me to always be networking and, you know, contacting teams, you know, around half season to be prepared for next season. And that's probably the hardest thing for me and, and any other players. It's just It's just never knowing whether you're good or not. You know, there may be a player, you know, I may be player A, but player B may get a job. You just, it just depends. So that's, that's the hardest thing, to be honest. My future basketball goals are to play top level um, with top level teams overseas, um, Euro League, NBA D League, or NBA, or playing the Philippines League. Some of the other countries I would like to play in would be places like Spain, France, Italy, United Arab Emirates, China, Japan, Mongolia, Brazil. Romania and the Philippines. I got the nickname the Hulk from a couple of different things. Uh, one was me being a hothead when I was a little bit younger. Um, finally being able to get that under control combined with me being a strong point guard on the basketball court. It just, it just, I've, I was able to, to translate my, you know, my, my hotheadedness into the court and combined with my already physical strength, just, I. I got the nickname the Hulk because I used to used to bully all the other little smaller players. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much how I got the nickname. I think some of the key attributes that players would need to to have in order to make this a long term career would be would revolve around more the the mental aspect than the physical aspect of the game. Obviously, you need to have the the uh, you know the fundamentals, match the fundamentals. You know, such like a Kobe Bryant or Michael Jordan. Um, but I think that if you if you don't have the mental aspect, especially if you're going to play, not even just like in the States, but if you want to play international, especially international, you need to really be grounded and motivated mentally, because if you're not, I've seen I've seen and heard stories of plenty of players who who just missed out or, you know, couldn't cut it because of just the mental aspect of it. 
they were great they were great players but their their head just wasn't into it um so i i think that combined with the love of the game are, are probably the most things that that players would need to be in order to be uh successful players in this business my advice to the younger players who want to make basketball uh, a career would be to never forget to love the game and why you play and don't worry so much about the money if you put in the if you put in the hard work that all that will come eventually but just just play because you love the game and everything else will fall will fall in place there, there are a lot of players I admire um, I'll just give a few but uh, players like Michael Jordan Ray John Rondo Russell Westbrook Kobe Bryant uh, those those guys um, really really stick out to me just right away because the the fire they play with the passion they play with the hard work and dedication they put in the game it it, it motivates me and just keeps me inspired and in many different ways in life and in basketball